Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be looking at texture packs on the iPad. Now, these are tested working in Minecraft Education Edition, but also they'll work in Pocket Edition too. I'm going to show you three texture packs that look really good on your iPad. I'm going to show you how to download, how to install, and how to use. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so here we are on our iPad. We are on the App Store and we're looking for MCPE add-ons. There's the icon there in the top left and we'll open that if we haven't already got it installed from our previous shader pack and we'll type in textures organized by most downloaded and uh, faithful PE is the top downloaded one. I'm just going to click on, we're going to scroll down and click install on this little separate window here. And we'll add our resource pack uh, 64 by 64. I think that's the resolution of the textures. So we want it as high resolution as possible running on our iPad. Got a few little ads to skip through, easy stuff. And then we'll, we'll press install and it will give us the option to open with various different apps. We're of course going to choose Minecraft education. So successfully imported, faithful 64 by 64, new game resource packs. And we're going to activate our brand new resource pack to see how that looks. So let's go to our game. Let's go to creative. Um, yeah, well type infinite fine and click play. And you'll notice that straight away, we've got a much higher resolution texture pack in there. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Uh, let's, uh, let's have a zoom around and see what we can find to fly around a little bit. Looks really good already without any buildings or anything like that. But I want to find a village is really what I want to do. Um, so let's have a little look around. It does look pretty kind of HD. Okay, here we go. So we're in a village. Villagers are looking sharp. That's nice. All the, all the, wow, close up. The blocks are super high definition, aren't they? They look really sharp. They look awesome. Um, pumpkins there looking good. Little cat wandering around. Those plants look good. Um, it's not a bad texture pack, this one. It kind of looks uh, pretty close to the original. Just everything's sharpened up a bit, which I guess is what we want. And it runs really nicely on the iPad. I'm not dropping any frames or anything like that, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, really good. Plays nicely. Let's have a look down here. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that was texture pack number one, the faithful PE. Uh, let's go down, see if we can find some other ones. Uh, this is ordered by most downloaded. Uh, there's the Yamoto one. Let's come back to that one later because that one is a cool one. We did that one in our uh, desktop version. Uh, let's have a look at this one. It's the Kawaii World Texture Pack. Little advert here and quickly download. Open with Minecraft Education as before. Right, let's activate this resource pack and see how it looks uh, in our new world. Okay. I don't know what blocks it's changed to these kind of rainbow. They look like cake, like the inside of one of those rainbow cakes. Uh, yeah, it looks good. It's not really, it's a little bit sharper actually. I must say the corners look a little bit sharper and stuff, but it's this pink stuff everywhere that um, I guess if you're into, wow, look at the sun. The sun, <laughs> it's got this kind of anime look going on. I want to say like Hello Kitty. It's got that kind of look about it. Um, okay, let's find a village. Let's have a zoom around and look for a village and see how everything looks. Yeah, everything looks very kind of pink wafer. Good. It's got it's got a very distinctive look, a style about it. That's for sure. Nice. Um, not sure if this one's for me. I don't know if I'd play I'd play with this um, texture pack on all the time. This I was going for a very specific look for a world, uh, but looks good. Does the job? Looks looks nice and sharp too. I like it. Okay. And finally, let's look at our third one. This is the Yamoto texture pack. Makes everything look kind of. Uh, in a Japanese art style, which is pretty cool. Skip past a couple of ads, open it up. You'll find these texture packs. It's kind of easier on the iPad to install them than it is on the desktop quite often. Just have to sit through a couple of ads. Successfully imported, that's good. Uh, let's start a new world and um, look at our final texture pack. Uh, I really like this one on the desktop. It's got this kind of Japanese art style. Looks really nice. The trees look great. And, oh, that's cool as well. The hot bar and stuff look really good. Oh, that looks really nice. Japan in the autumn. All the blossom and so on. Yeah, it looks really good. Zoom over the world a little bit. Don't know if I'll look for a village this time. Let's just fly around. Looks really good. Sharp. 
I think the ones that have an, a really distinctive art style, but also don't look too different from the original. Because you don't want to be completely distracted and think you're playing a different game. Just sharpens things up, gives it, and it gives it its own new art style slightly. But this is really good. Uh, let's go out to sea a little bit. Let's look at one of the islands. That'll be quite cool. Awesome. Let's go down here and have a look. Oh, we've got sea turtles. That's awesome. I really like the ones that change the hotbar a lot and the touchscreen stuff. They look awesome. But yeah, very cool. So... Uh, let's go ahead and finish up the video there. That was our texture pack for the iPads video. If you found this useful, please do like and subscribe. I'll do more videos on mods and lessons and how-tos uh, in the weeks upcoming. Uh, but for now, if you enjoyed that, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all later in the week.